What's going on, everybody? Welcome to G Maya's World, and we're going to be talking about a very, very delicate topic today about the John Madden coach. Now, I told you guys that I was very interested in doing it. Last year in Madden 18, he was a very, very good asset. I just stayed away from him because it required, like, you know, uh, mutt squads and stuff like that. I still don't even do my mutt squad challenges, you know, against a CPU with play a friend because I just don't care about it. But I am going to start doing it because they give you those Series 1 tokens. So EA is still trying to give you an initiative to make sure that you do it. So I'm going to go ahead and start doing that. But what I'm going to go ahead and show you right now is this, right? If you are interested in getting John Madden coach, it's going to cost you 200 Series 1 tokens. Now, the problem is he's not the same thing that he was in 18 right now. And as you continue to upgrade him with continuous series, like Series 2, Series 3, it's going to cost you additional series tokens, right? And then ultimately, they'll probably add you with speed and all that stuff like that. You know, eventually, they'll probably do that. But the luxury of that is this, right? I'm going to tell you what the luxury is. You can still get the coach because they're going to make him, like if people want to sell him, auctionable for his base. Now, you can read right there that it's auctionable until you equip him with a custom chemistry. The issue is... After you put in all this time to do all of this stuff right here, this is what's going to happen. You're going to still have to spend a ridiculous amount of training points to add chems. So what does that mean for you guys? Bro, you might not have to go this route. If EA is smart, they'll release other coaches that can do different things for cheaper amounts of training points and to just make sure you can add any of the chem. What I don't understand is why would they do it this way? Like, you you have you have the uniforms and stuff like that. You have the stadiums that only can add team chemistries. Why would you do that? You should be able to make the players add whatever chems to the coaches that they want instead of just having a Jaguars chem. But in this guy's situation, they've made it overwhelmingly expensive to do foolishness. Now you can boost like different attributes within the player, but the current series one does not maintain any type of speed. Okay, so let me go ahead and show you what's going on, right? I have a goal coach. The dude's garbage, but I'm not worried about that. Like, I'm not really concerned about my coach right now. That's not something that is on my, like, yo, bro, I got to make sure that my coach is raw. I got Doug Marone. You know what I'm saying? Is he a good coach? Who knows, bro? Like, I, I don't know. He has a great defense. He's doing whatever he wants. But you can see the Jaguars, the Jaguar scheme chemistry slot, right? This right here, this only affects Jaguar players. Okay, so you can boost all your Jaguar players. What EA is doing is they're making it so that the, the teams can be more customizable to specific players and coaches. But that doesn't make any sense because if I like Doug Marone, but I don't want to use this and I just want to have like, you know, times two uh, pass rush or whatever on my, on my card, I should be able to do that. I don't see why it has to be particularly set to the Jags. But because I have Jalen Ramsey, you know what I'm saying? Like, you could go ahead and be like, all right, you know what? It doesn't matter. Let's add some more pass D to Jalen Ramsey. And then what could happen is you ultimately see what goes on. You could add a lot of zone coverage by adding 40 Jaguar players. Okay? So you could pretty much make um, his zone 99, his man coverage 99, all that stuff by just adding Jag players. Okay? This is the situation. It doesn't really make any sense to go one route with one team because most of us are not going to have all the players from one team. Some of you guys are psychopaths and you want to make a whole team of what whatever. This will be up this will be your type of speed right here. This will be your speed, but just keep in mind as you continue to upgrade, you know what I'm saying? Like you see what this you see what happens? 250, 500, all this stuff like that. It starts to get really really wild. 1500, 2000. This is like the John Madden coach, like 2000 training points to just make John Madden stand up on the sideline. Like what it, what are they doing? Look, this is the situation, right? I like the fact that training points make sure that no card will lose value. Like, you'll see some cheap silvers because they're giving you, like, you know, five training points, whatever. But for the elites, every one of them will maintain their value because of things like this. You see what I'm saying? Every time you, you look at it, it's always going to be something else that you can do. So this, these are the things that you have to understand. You're going to still need all this, like, yo, it still requires a certain amount of players to do it. And then it still requires a certain amount of training points to continue to upgrade. But you can see with all the things that it will add, you know, every Jag player that you have, like, you know, Miles Jack, these dudes, they're going to be running around like psycho. D defensively, it would probably make sense to do this. Okay? It would make sense to do it. The problem is, right, you have to understand this simply. 
when you when you start doing this, right? When you start upgrading it, and you you know you're boosting all these players and stuff like that based on coaches. As new cards come out, you're gonna be put in a situation where it's like, all right, what am I doing right now? Am I willing to keep this card for the entire year? And then as you start to downgrade, it becomes very very difficult for you because you've already invested so much into it. That's why John Madden coach. I don't like the fact that the way that they have him with all these freaky chems, but he doesn't add any speed. But then again, they put it so that you have to have like 50 players of any team to get plus three speed or something like that. So they're trying to make you, you know, hold you down to one type and set of squad. Now, if you guys decide to do it, like let's take a look at my lineup, right? If you look at my lineup right now and we start to gauge what's going to be going on throughout the year, who are the best defenses? You guys can write it in the comments. More than likely, Vikings, Jags. That's what I would think, right? Well, Eagles also. Vikings, Jags, Eagles. Let's just say that. They have the best defenses, in my opinion. The Vikings, the Jags, and the Eagles. So we have an Eagles player, right? We have a Jags player. Okay, Vikings, we have Anthony Barr, all right? These three players should continue to be good throughout the year. Uh, Vikings, again, Xavier Rhodes. They should continue to be good throughout the year, all right? What does that mean? That means that you could probably invest in a Mike Zimmer. You see what I'm saying? Like, I, I, look, it, it just becomes difficult. But then, look, we got Doug Marone, and then we got this Goonie over here. Okay, when you click on him and you look at him already, look, look at the stuff. He already has a 97 man in a 96 zone. We could easily get him to a 99 by doing that stuff with Doug Marone. Why would they make that just, you know, simply put, be able to add stuff like that to John Madden instead of having to spend you know, 2,000 training points to, yo, let him just put one, you know, put his hand up in the air on the sideline. Like, I don't know what they're doing, but my full intention was to get John Madden coach until I asked some of the people in the stream that had him. And I'm like, what? You need to do what? And then you don't get what? And then what with the what? And then you're like, holy, what? That's the problem right now. So what would I suggest you do? I would suggest that you use your Series 1 tokens to do other things that can increase the overall amount of coins that you have, okay? What does that mean? All right, Series 1 is probably going to be going on for the month of September. It'll probably end and then they'll start Series 2 sometime in October, right? So when you come over here and you look at this and you're like, what are the other options? Should you use it on a Nat David Johnson? No, you should not. Some of you guys are getting Nat defensive players and pulling things like Jalen Ramsey and stuff like that. I don't want to do that simply because I already know I'm not going to pull anything like that. Okay? So if you if you want to waste six of them, that's on you. I don't want to waste it for a Nat player I can't do anything with. Do I want to go 82 to 85? No, because there's nothing there that, you know, that really excites me. Or I'm like, yo, bro, I really want this 85 overall player. Like, bro, no. Nah. You know what I'm saying? This right here, had, for me, has been really glitchy thus far. Bro, thus whilst i've been playing the game bro it's been very very glitchy okay what does that mean would it make sense because i have 84 of them to use two and get these right here it probably would because if look if i'm going to invest just think about it like this right if you're going to invest training points into a card that cost you 200 of this you realistically lost because re realize that they have physical chems that you can use a thousand with the with the sprinter chem, and just start investing in that. And by the time you get a certain amount of players, you can get plus two speed on that, which makes more sense to add to your team instead of having a John Madden coach that's going to add attributes and all the other kind of stuff that you know you really don't know if your team is good enough. Like if your team is already decent, you might not notice the change in what John Madden will bring. So when you guys are asking like, "Yo, bro, yo, is this still worth it?" No. I don't want them anymore. See, that's the thing about it. This is the whole situation. Look, when you start figuring out as it goes on and EA starts revealing things like, oh, yeah, now you need this jump and you need this agility to do stuff, you got to understand throughout the year as they patch the game, they're going to change things. So things are going to change. So you can't just always think that it's going to be consistently the same, which is why I try to look at the positions that I have on my squad and continuously update it. You should do the same. Because more than likely, what would make more sense to me is for me to risk it for 86 to 89 and see what I get, make like 400K, and then invest that in my team and make my team overall better. If I want to, I can always go back and purchase John Madden 
from somebody that realized that, yo, it's useless. I'm not going to be spending 2,000 training points to upgrade this idiot. That's what happens. You see what I'm saying? People start to realize, like, all right, like yesterday, John Madden was going for 850K. Earlier in the year, he was a million coins. He's going to continue to go down because people are not going to want to deal with the foolishness of having to now spend the additional ridiculous amounts of training points because 2,000 training points, that's a lot, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, right now, he's not even there. Like, there's no there's no coaches even... What, he, he's not even available right now? Bro, that's crazy because yesterday, he was... Oh, I think he's Coach Madden, right? I think he might be Coach Madden. That's why um, it's not there. He should be there. Oh, he's not. Everybody bought them? Wow, okay. Th this right here, this is kind of crazy. Because he was going for 850 yesterday, so that means that there was like four or five idiots that bought him and then wants to add the chem. But that I did tell a couple people through comments that they should probably um, you know, sell them as soon as possible. So maybe you guys sold them. But those guys, listen, this is the situation, right? Ultimately, what's going to happen is that you're going to realize that there are a lot of things that you can't control, and you're gonna have to take what's the you're gonna have to take the best option that's available, right? So look, think about it like this, right? All the John Maddens are gone. You can make a million coins off of using 200, but when you evaluate it, 40, 40, 40, 40, and 40, okay, you're going to get to five of those, right? You're going to get an average of 200K of whatever you pull. So you're going to make you're gonna make the money anyway, even if you don't go the route of John Madden. That's what I was trying to explain to a couple of dudes yesterday. Just think about it, right? I pulled that pack, uh, the 86 to 89 overall pack, I think maybe three times, right? My lowest card, hold on, I got Sean Taylor 88 overall. At that time, was going for like like 180 when I made the Sean Taylor. Okay, the 88, right? I got another card that was glitchy. I don't remember what it was, but it sold for like 250, okay? And then I got another one that sold for like 180. So you're, you're right around the rate of what John Madden is going to be. This is what I will urge you to do, right? If your pockets are fat and large and you can just spend the money and you don't care... You can do what you can go for it, right? If you're like me and you're trying to build your team up and you're not really worried about having a coach that you're going to have to then invest another million coins into to be able to do upgrades to your team, it doesn't make any sense. Because if we're not buy the guys that buy packs every week, they don't really care. They're like, yo, you know what? I'm not paying my child support. I'm not paying mortgages. Bro, I'm taking out home equity lines of credit. Like, I'm doing whatever I got to do to make my mutt team just so fierce so I can go out and get whipped by a guy with a lower overall. That's pretty much what's going on. So now EA is booting me from the servers because I, what is this? What's going on right now? Why are there servers not available at this time? That doesn't make any sense. I'm going to have to figure out what's going on. This is a situation that we have to understand. But at the end of the day, just remember this. Whichever way you choose to do it, I don't think you should go after John Madden right now. Let me know if you have any questions or comments, and I'll talk to you later. Until next time, one love.